Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kane Paul Willie. I just drove two hours down here to a lake I've never been to. I'm on a little road trip. This lake's actually close to my hometown, and I've always kind of wanted to check it out. I've heard good things about it, but I got the worms and the ultralight ride. I got my 10-foot approach dagger kayak. I'm going to float around here for a bit, toss the worms around. Maybe, we, maybe see if we can come up with some bluegill. do this about to launch the boat We've got about six hours out here probably maybe seven hours it gets dark about seven I'm just gonna tr try and take my time Oh my gosh, I missed it. I should have said it. Got one. Heck yes. Oh, am I hung up too? No, yes. Yes. Good bluegill. Yes, heck yeah. Right in the side of the lip. Look at that one. That is a pretty, pretty specimen. Heck yeah. Not bad. A little short, thick guy right there. First fish, nice bluegill. Oh, he's feisty. I'm gonna let him go. Heck yeah. There's a little tree out there. Was dropping it right next to there. Not too far from the bank, a little bit deeper, but managed to get one. Got a few bites and finally pulled one up. Oh my, I got a turtle. I've never caught a turtle before. Oh gosh. Poor guy. Come here, buddy. Got him. Heck yeah first turtle to ever catch that's crazy i was worried for a second when charles gonna be able to get the hook out of him but that wasn't bad oh feisty guy he's a snapping turtle i think oh he's scaring me now that's awesome oh his toes are sharp oh god i want a picture of him ah his toes are getting me all right my first turtle to catch this guy's feisty. Man, his claws are hurting my hand. <laughs> Ooh, had a little bite right there on the bopper. Oh, he's running with it. Got one on the bobber. Up here is super shallow. Oh heck yeah, what we got here? Oh crazy fighting bluegill. Heck yeah, back on them. Uh, I took a break and uh, got me a sandwich, peanut butter and jelly at the car. Came back out here and got one up super shallow. Been seeing them jump up here, put it on the bobber and got one. That one ain't bad at all, it's probably my best today. Yeah, cutie. Yeah. 
there's one. Always trying to run off with it. Is my GoPro going? Okay, good, it's going. He's trying to run with it. Oh, got him. Oh, we got a good fighter. Oh, yeah. Another bluegill. Heck yeah. Oh. Got a nice size one right there. Heck yeah, look at that. Got on a little afternoon bite. Out here real shallow by the cypress trees. Got another one right there in the same spot. The exact same spot as that last one. Oh heck yeah. Oh yeah, two good males in a row. Let's get this guy unhooked. Oh man, almost lost my rod right there. Man, exact spot is that last one. Not bad at all. Not huge yet, but good size. I just got two bluegills right here, right on the same worm, literally in the exact same spot. There's a third one. Oh, yanked it out. Oh man, they must be loaded right there. Three casts in a row. Three bites. All right, I'm gonna put it right back in that same spot. Man, earlier today I spent the day fishing deeper. Didn't realize they were going to be quite so shallow. That's alright though, you got to figure them out sometimes. Alright, that was actually a little bit left of where it was. I'm going to recast. That was it right there. That's the spot. There it is. Oh, we dropped it. He's running with it. Got him. Oh yeah, man, that is the spot. We are on them. Oh heck yeah, feels like a good one. <laughs> Always going under the boat. Oh my gosh, look at that bluegill. That's a swamp daddy right there. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Man, that's my biggest yet, I'm pretty sure. Not bad out here in the swamp. <laughs> Four right in a row right there. Heck yeah. What a beautiful area. Got a little bit of sunlight left. I'm going to keep at it. We only got maybe, I don't know, a handful of worms. You can see them in there. Not many, but we're going to keep fishing until we lose light. There's one. Oh, this one feels pretty good too. Can't tell. Man. Jeez Louise, look at that one. Man, I'm absolutely on them right now. This is the best buy I've had for sure this year. In Northwest Arkansas, it's just a little bit cooler. And I've caught some sparse fish here and there, as you guys have seen on the videos. But man, this is the most consistent bite I've got on yet. This is what I was really hoping for too. Bluegill out here in the Cypress Swamp. Oh, we got one running for it. Exact same spot. He's just pecking at it. Oh, we set it on him. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. 
And I'm trying to make sure and not get pulled into there. Because that is uh, another one. I'm losing count here in this exact same area. All right, another real good, blue, good sized bluegill. Lost a worm. All right, well, I'm on a roll. This spot right here is loaded. I mean, I've caught numerous ones. As soon as it hits, they're jumping up and grabbing it. There's one right there. Oh, pulled it out. There it is. Heck yeah. Good bluegill, it feels like. Spinning in circles. <laughs> Heck yeah. Man, this is exactly how I wanted this trip to go down and what was I was hoping for. There's a bunch of bluegill here in the cypress swamp. Yeah. There's one. Oh yeah. Oh man, that one feels like another good fighter. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot believe how many I've caught from there. Oh my God, they're getting big. Oh, they're getting big. <laughs> That is not a bad bluegill at all. Another one. There's one. Every single cast over there. It is non-stop action. This is honestly what I've been dreaming of all winter is to get on a bite like this. Man. Yes, sir. This right here has been an absolutely incredible bluegill bite. So many fish in this one tiny area. I had to get a real shallow frock on them. I mean, I hunted hard today. There's one. God, this one feels good. He was hunkered down by that trunk. All right, I think I got two more worms left. <laughs> Gosh. What a bite. This is just nonstop. Switch to the bigger true turn hooks because these big fish need them. was right there in the middle right where they are oh it's so nice being back in these trees too no I'm not battling the wind like I was just sitting right here not having an anchor there's one jeez another one try and stay out of that area gosh I cannot believe this I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that I really can't though. I've been wanting a bite like this for months and months. Awesome. There's one. Oh yeah, good fighter there. Oh man, wide body. Gosh, look at that one. So many, man, I can't believe how many I've caught right here, just over and over. I threw the artificials around for an hour here at the end, but no bites. 
Man, what an incredible little honey hole that was. Pulled out so many good bluegill, and for me, those were a real good size. Some thick ones. I think most of these were male, so makes me think we got a good little bed here, and definitely gonna remember this location, this back little cove. We're super shallow, though. Can't believe they're up this shallow. Only a couple feet of water. But either way, man, great day out here. Finally got on a good bite. This is going to be a longer video because we got a bunch of fish in that one little section. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. And hopefully a lot more trips like this, man, this got me fired up. I'm going to be coming down south a lot more. Hopefully getting more of these bluegill trips while it's still spring and they're up shallow. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.